Guys, a new leak just dropped and Samsung is not gonna be happy about this. Hidden deep in their Galaxy Ring app code is one line that changes everything. It says ring gesture for glasses. That's right, the Galaxy Ring might soon control smart glasses that Samsung hasn't even announced yet. And if you think that's wild, wait until you see the patent. Quick thing, if you love AR leaks and wearable tech news, subscribe so you don't miss next week's deep dive into everything we know about Samsung's smart glasses. Now, here's the context that you need. Samsung's been building gesture controls into their wearable devices for years. The Galaxy Watch, it lets you pinch or make a fist to control calls and music without even touching the screen. And the Galaxy Ring itself already controls your camera's smartphone. Tap your fingers together, snap a photo. So gestures aren't new, but this leak suggests they're about to get way more advanced. So let's talk about what Android Authority found. They did a teardown on the Galaxy wearable app and discovered that ring gesture for glasses string, this isn't something for marketing. It's called a developer test hook, which means Samsung's actively coding the connection between the ring and their upcoming glasses right now. So in plain English, your ring could let you control your glasses with just a flick or a pinch, no voice commands, no touching the frame, just subtle finger movements. And here's where it gets really wild. Samsung's patent shows the ring controlling other screens through gestures. So flick to the left to switch devices, rotate your fingers to adjust the brightness or the volume, even point at other devices to hand off a file or a screen from one to the other. It's literally a universal remote that you wear on your finger. Now, let's zoom out for a second. This leak fits perfectly into Samsung's long-term XR strategy. So you've got the watch handling the larger gestures, you've got the ring for microcontrols, and the glasses as the visual interface, and they all come together into a complete hands-free ecosystem. So the ring becomes the subtle input layer that really just ties everything together. It's basically turning your body into the controller. Now, while Samsung's leak hints at what's coming, Meta's kind of already doing this. Their neural band, which launched alongside their display glasses, let you control the glasses just by moving your hand or twitching your fingers. It uses electromyography, meaning it reads tiny electrical signals from your nerves to detect the intent of you actually moving. And I know it sounds like sci-fi, right? But Samsung's approach is actually completely different. So instead of nerve sensing, they're using motion and gesture sensors. It's simpler, more power efficient, and it's actually easier to mass produce. But here's what's really fascinating. Both companies are literally chasing the same goal. It's all about hands-free AR control that just feels natural. And here's the key difference. Meta's approach is more futuristic, but it can't be bought separately. So Samsung's motion sensors, they're already in that $400 ring that you might already own. No extra hardware needed. And Meta's already out in the wild with theirs, while Samsung's at the moment is just hidden in the code. But if this leak is any indication, the Galaxy Ring could be Samsung's answer to the neural band. The wearable control war, I think it's officially begun. So if the code's already in the Galaxy wearable app, we could see this feature teased as early as Galaxy Unpacked 2026, which is rumored to take place in late January or late February, 
right around the time that Samsung glasses are rumored to launch, the ring might end up being the input device that makes those glasses truly usable. And with one concern, the gesture controls are battery killers. And the Galaxy Ring lasts right now five to seven days. If you add constant motion tracking, that can drop to two to three days. Samsung needs to solve this before launch. But here's what Samsung has that Meta doesn't. The Galaxy Ring, it's not just a controller for your glasses. You get all the sleep and health tracking that made the ring worth buying in the first place. And to me, that's a much better value proposition than Meta's neural band, which only does gestures. So here's what Samsung's really doing. They're not selling you a ring. They're selling you the remote control for their entire AR future. The Galaxy Ring might be the missing link that makes smart glasses mainstream. And real talk for a second, would you wear a $400 ring just to control glasses that you don't even own yet? Or is Samsung asking too much too soon? Which would you rather have? Meta's nerve reading band or Samsung's gesture ring? Fight it out in the comments down below, guys. I read every single one of them. And if you're new here, Subscribe because next week I'm breaking down everything we know about Samsung's smart glasses. Every leak, every patent, every rumor. It's going to be huge. And with that, I'll see you next time.